If you want to submit a research article to a journal, you must know that there are several files and information that needs to be uploaded along with your manuscript file. But many of the researchers are not aware of it and they often spend hours in just uploading a manuscript. Hello and welcome back to research and publishing series of Explorebio with Dr. Abhishek. And in today's video you will learn what are the most common files or information required while you are uploading a research article. I am sure this video will help you save a lot of your crucial time. I will share some video clips to help you understand better. But before I begin, just want to share an important information about who can submit a manuscript. A research article or manuscript has to be submitted by the corresponding author only. Although any of the authors can upload the manuscript and required information, but the final submission can only be done by corresponding author. Initially, the one who is uploading the data will be shown as corresponding author, but once everything is done, the co-author can edit the author information and select the right corresponding author. Once this is done, the corresponding author will receive an email from the journal. He or she can check the uploaded data and has the authority to approve the final submission. Now let's see what are the other files and information required while uploading the manuscript. You can also get this idea reading the submission guidelines for authors. The first file is a cover letter. A cover letter to the journal editor by corresponding author is asked. It explains why you want the paper to be considered in this particular journal why it is significant for the journal's audience. You highlight the uniqueness and strength of the paper. Generally, a cover letter is one page long. Another file is a highlight file. Not all journals ask for it, but better to prepare three to five bullet points mentioning the key aspects of the paper. Generally, each point should be less than 85 characters. A manuscript file is the core paper. It has a title followed by the name of authors, their affiliation, abstract, 5 to 8 keywords, introduction, methods, results, discussion, references, figure and table legends, acknowledgements, etc. Sometimes during initial submission, main figure and table can also be asked to be included in the manuscript file. Else you can upload them as a separate file. You can check out these videos to learn how to write a perfect research paper or review easily. You also need to have an author contribution statement where contribution of each author needs to be mentioned. For example, who designed the study, carried out the experiment, analyzed the data, wrote and edited the paper and so on. In this video, I have talked about different types of authorships. In declaration of interest statement, you have to confirm that no author has personal or financial conflict. Then you should have high quality figure files usually of resolution 300 dpi or more. But depending upon the journal, it may vary and you should always check out the author guidelines before uploading it. Check if there is any limit to the number of figures that can be included as main figure. If it exceeds the limit, you can definitely shift some of the less relevant figures to a supplementary file that can be uploaded separately. In it, there is no limit for figures or tables. Similarly, you can upload tables. Larger data or less important data can be uploaded as supplementary information too. Then for some journals, a graphical abstract is must. See if it is mandatory or optional in your case. If you want to show something in the form of video, good journals also have an option to upload videos alongside the manuscript. Some procedures and experiments can be well explained and understood in the form of video demonstrations. So including a video can be a good idea to showcase your research. Another important thing that you should keep ready while uploading a manuscript are details of 3 to 5 potential referees who can review your paper. Reviewer suggestion is not always mandatory for all journals, but in case it is mandatory, you have to mention their name, email ID, institution name, and reason for choosing them for reviewing your paper. But how to choose these reviewers? Obviously, you cannot choose one of the co-authors to review your paper. Rather, you should choose a scientist or a professor who has extensive experience in the area of your research. This is important to get it reviewed properly. Co-authors must discuss with the corresponding author about choosing the right referees. It entirely depends upon the journal editor to choose any of the suggested reviewer or assign your manuscript according to his or her own choice. You should have full name, institution name, email ID of all the authors mentioned in the manuscript. You can keep them in advance in a word or text file. These details will be asked to be filled when you are uploading your manuscript. 
If you have received any funding for the work or you want to acknowledge any funding agency, you must have its full name and grant number if possible. It has to be filled in the form and mentioned under the acknowledgement section of the manuscript. Do remember that different journals have different requirements and formats. What I have mentioned is suitable for majority of good journals. I am hopeful that this video will help you all prepare in advance for submitting a manuscript and save a lot of your crucial time. If you find this video useful, then I suggest you to go through my entire research and publication series. It is made for researchers like you to help you and make things easy for you. Do like and share it with others. It motivates me to make more such useful content. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay informed about my latest uploads. Comment below for your queries and requests. Thanks and meet you with another interesting information.